Hi ladies, today I want to tell you about what we've been doing with the October Paper Pumpkin 2020. Um, super fun. The first thing I did was I took the card bases that are five and seven eighths this way and I trimmed it down to five and a half. That way it fit in regular size envelopes and I could take and open up each of the envelopes and get a nice um, piece of DSP, designer series paper, to use um, on our cards or projects. So I did that with all eight card bases and envelopes. Then I got to work. Okay, the first thing I did was I made the two um, cards like it said in, um, suggested in, um, in the kit. So I made them just like they were suggested. The only difference is my card bases are four and a half or five and a half instead of five and seven eighths. And they fit in regular envelopes that I decorated. Okay, so that's just following um, the kit. The next thing I did was I took what they suggested in the kit and I wanted to save. This uses two of these beautiful flower pieces, floral pieces, and I wanted to um, save a little bit. So I made one with just one. This is just one floral piece cut in half and glued at the uh, top and bottom of the card. The other thing I wanted to do was save all that luscious gold behind here to use it for something else. So what I did is I just snipped off the ends and I glued them onto the end pieces here and nobody is the wiser. They think it runs the whole length and the reality is it's just a piece here, it's just a piece here, empty right here. And again, I used only one of the floral pieces and I cut it in half. Okay, so that's how I changed that one to save. Okay, then I started to um, go, oh, I made one more using uh, the piece, piece. <laughs> um, and again, decorated my own envelope so that um, I could make even more cards. So that was that. Then I started to go off um, off on my own. So here's that beautiful inside of the envelope used as a designer series piece uh, paper. And here's one of those strips of paper that um, was from the end of that five and, and seven eighths um, piece. And then I stamped my um, wreath from the uh, kit, added my own berries, and what I did here is I stamped this with Versamark, and then I used gold embossing powder, and I embossed the joy. I made two of those, so you can see they look just stunning. And then, of course, I decorated the envelope. Okay. The next two I did were to take and make my own uh, DSP um, on a regular piece of cardstock. And I used, again, that luscious piece inside the envelope and I cut them in half. So when I cut them in half, I had a top and a bottom piece of the um, DSP from the envelope and a top and the bottom from um, my piece that I decorated myself with the floral stamp. I cut them in half with my trimmer and created a little gap, glued them down, uh, and then I used one of the uh, pieces, uh, floral pieces, added my own thank you, and um, two punches for the leaves. Again, if you don't have a punch, you could cut your own leaf. You could leave them off completely. Um, you could cut some out of a magazine even, but that creates the thank yous. And then, of course, I made my own envelope. 
added a little stamp to the outside um, back of the envelope as well. The next one, again, I used a whole inside piece of the envelope, made my own thank you. I just cut it in half and um, I layered it. So I started out with the red um, base, then a cardstock, um, what is that called? Crumb cake. Then I added the, actually two pieces of the um, inside envelope. It was the top part of the envelope, not the big piece, the two top pieces of the envelope. Added my own banner and I made the banner from uh, the envelope itself. Um, once you cut off the DSP, then um, the, the cherry piece, then you have this nice piece and this is what I stamped the wreaths on and I made my thank you flags with that again stamped the uh, stamped the envelope here's just a little bit different um, this time I used the um, red base and I took a front of one of the um, card bases trimmed it down just a tad and used it as the base um, or as the uh, matting for the um, back of the envelope, the DSP. And for this one, I used one of the regular card bases and I added again a piece of the cherry red uh, DSP from inside the envelope. I used one of the labels from the kit. I added peace to the world um, it could say to you and yours, uh, to you. You could pick whatever you wanted. Um, added the um, wreath from the kit. And of course, I stamped over the wreath with the Just Jade and decorated the envelope. This one, I took a cherry red, a cherry cobbler card base. And I took the back side of, from this card base. So this was the front of the card base. This was the back of the card base. And then I added a piece of the uh, DSP from inside the envelope. And I stamped my own wreath um, on a piece of cardstock, added a little trim of gold. <clears throat> and I bumped up the berries with um, this fun little stuff, what's it called? Shimmery crystal effect. So they shimmer. And I added a, um, a dove from, um, one of the other stamping sets, but you could easily just add a bow. You could leave it blank. Um, it's up to you. Here's a simple one that I made into a birthday card even. And what I did is I took one of the card bases again and I added just a little strip of gold that was left over from the um, word, um, the words that are on um, in our kit. And I cut out this um, red piece, cut out the white piece, I stamped off before I stamped the um, flower and then straight stamped to you. Then I took and I just cut little strips of the designer series paper from the envelope and then flagged the bottoms. And I actually used the flower from the February 2020 kit, paper pumpkin kit, for the outside of the envelope. It worked out great. And then the last one I want to share with you, um, card-wise, is using two of the strips from the edges of uh, when you cut off your card base. And I added one of the um, wreaths from the kit. I added my own um, chunky uh, bow. And then I stamped Joy at the bottom of it. 
um, just to add interest. And on the inside, I just added a piece of that um, edge from the card bases to finish it off a bit. I stamped joy on the back of the envelope and joy on the front of the envelope so they coordinate. Here are the one, here are the cards from that we made together. So again, using a piece of the envelope, I cut it into four two by two pieces. Then I um, made a, and matted a little white piece of cardstock, stamped off our wreath, and added my own sentiment, many thanks, but you could add your own sentiment. If you don't have a stamp, write it, write what you want, but made it into a thank you card. Here is my card inspired from the back of the kit directions. I just uh, did a little embossing on the white piece, um, but I did that after I stamped the Just Jade. And I used the seafoam to stamp the Joy to complement the seafoam in the back. Easy card. I made some tags. We made some tags and I embossed the round tags, um, circles, and then all I did was add, um, add a flower and I cut it so that it could um, make it look a little bit wider and then added a wishing you a very merry or happy Christmas and that's by just Remember, masking off part of that sentiment and only stamping what you want it to say. Here's another card I made using making my own DSP on the white cardstock, then adding a piece of embossed Just Jade using the cable knit uh, embosser. I added a um, meant to be heart, uh, actually one uh, and two um, hearts, added the joy and a flower up here that I fussy cut. That means I cut all around it after I have, was done coloring it. And here's the last one I made. Again, taking a piece from the inside or the outside of the envelope that's left and I stamped on it. I colored it. I added a piece of um, vellum that I punched out as a heart with scallops. I added the Amour to you, my love, and it will make a darling Valentine card or Christmas card. The last thing I wanted to share with you is you can make an, um, a box out of one uh, one card base, and this card base was not cut uh, down. So I used it full size, and what I did is I scored three quarters of an inch on all four sides on the bottom and uh, on the base after I cut them apart. And for the top of the base, I cut, um, let's see, that would be, seven eighths, so um, seven eighths of an inch, I marked it all the way around. Um, I scored it all the way around at seven eighths of an inch. So it's an eighth of an inch larger than the bottom. And then I folded on each of the score lines. I cut each of the score lines and um, then I um, put glue on the tabs, glued them down and I um, used a punch to make the little um, thumb holes on either side so it can easily open up. But you can put all kinds of stuff in it. Right now I just have my extra bits in there. But you could put a card, you could put uh, a, a gift card, you could, um, gosh, do all sorts of things. So uh, put all sorts of things in there. Um, I did want to share with you, oh, one more thing. 
I wanted to just show you what you can do um, when you had these little guys they had a little middle that punched out and what I did is I punched a flower on each of them instead of just throwing them away and they become a flower to add to a wreath that can be easily added to a project. Now, you know, Vicki had asked me to make a um, prototype for an envelope that she could put recipe cards in for to share with her family, family uh, Christmas recipes for her um, daughter and daughter-in-law. So isn't that cute? And then on the back, she could list the contents with what, um, what um, cards are in here, what recipes are in here, or she could make a personal note. But again, take that piece from the center of your wreath, stamp it, and you can use it for a variety of projects. On this one, I just thought it would be cute if you um, stamped it and um, bumped it up on dimensionals and put it on the recipe card holder. But the sky's the limit. Have fun.